I've been following the Lib Dems for many years. There were certain policies I, I really love, probably some that are less like. One thing that COVID has done for me as, as a person that's been involved in the poli political discourse for a while is that I think one of the things we took for granted was um, civil liberties. And I think the silver lining in COVID and all the restrictions is it's, it's, it's made people like me who have taken that for granted, who would have in the past advocated for police to have more powers to fight things like terrorism, to realise, hold on, let's think about this. Uh, what are the effects that this can have, the unintended effects? And uh, I think the Lib Dems are going to... I think the government's going to get a bit of a surprise when they realise how many people are going to wake up to the idea of human rights. I, I, look, I totally agree. One of the things that you would notice talking to the people here is that many of them come from other countries and many immigrants that have come from countries that have had authoritarian regimes and I've said for a long time that people who understand freedom the best are those who have lost it and now we're in a situation where everyone in Victoria has lost their freedom to some degree and they understand the importance of defending the liberty of, of Australians like you say the civil liberties and I, I hope that we carry that forward that's the silver lining in all this I totally agree. I have a small business, I have a dance studio and we were really heavily restricted and basically discriminated against um, in all of the restrictions and, and now it continues into the mandating of children whereas they can go to their swim school but they can't go to their dance school now unless they're vaccinated. I was following um, David Limbrick um, since it all started. You, you mean you were radicalised by David Limbrick, yes? <laughs> Just get, get, hey, what's your... She said she was inspired. I don't know what the language was, so you were watching David Limbrick. I was following David Limbrick and I decided to have a dance protest during the middle of the year because we just kept being shut when everything else was open. I gave David a message and he supported me with that, which was great. We brought, we brought a lot of attention to what's going on for, for the young dancers in Victoria. So yeah, and here we are six <laughs> months later and I'll be um, supporting David um, and we're running in um, for the Senate together. So, six months you've known David? Yeah, yeah, since we've met, him. yeah. Can he dance? Um, oh, well, I'm hoping to do some sort of flash mob with David and we can go like this and, and maybe get Tim Quilty in on it as well. They can come through. Well, we've and got a dance teacher now, so, you know. We're... I'll choreograph it, definitely. So we've spoken to a couple of your candidates here now. There's a bit of a, I can see... Um, your marketing's up, your branding's definitely doing well. I, I love what I'm seeing here. How are you feeling about this? Look, I mean, you know, the government's got their power now. The thing that we've got to focus on now is now that they've got this power to make sure that it's used responsibly. So I want them to stop this mandate in this two-tier society. So that's what we're going to be focusing on with regards to the, the, the new powers. So, where have you been shopping lately? Uh, Rebelstore.com.au Did they uh, vaccine passport you, check you before you made your purchase? Uh, hell no. There may be an error in the system, we'll have to take care of that. Oh yeah, look, I didn't think it was going to come, but it came. And I've been wearing it proudly ever since. So everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. That is exactly what we need to think right now, because it's not the end. We just need to keep fighting for our freedom.